Hi friends, now we are going to see about the phylum Echinodermata. Echino means spines, dermata means skin. So the, the skin is spinous in nature. Because of that they named it as Echinodermata. Example for this phylum Echinodermata, sea stars, sea cucumbers, feather stars, sea urchins and sand dollars. Coming to the phylum Echinodermata, we have four main classes. Class Astroidae, Class Euphoroidae, Class Echinoidae and Class Holothuroidae. So coming to the first, Echinoderms. Name means spiny skin. So the sea stars, sea cucumbers, sea urchins etc. All are marine. All found on the bottom of the sea. Coming to the characteristics of the phylum Echinodermata, the body time is Pentamerous means having five limbs. Radially, both radially symmetrical in five parts are the multiples of the five. The body organization is we are having three layers. Endoderm, mesoderm as well as the ectoderm. The body cavity is coelom, presence of cavity. Ecological roles are, roles are they will act as a food source. Predator control, predators for controlling of population. For the recycling of the nutrients and also for the chemicals for anti-cancer as well as for the antiviral. And next, digestive system. It is a complete digestive system having both mouth as well as anus. Coming to the reproduction, we have sexual because of dioecious as well as also cross, asexual by regeneration if the lost part of an arms as well as with the guts. So this is the adult sea star. So coming to the again the characteristics, the circulation is closer circulation. The nervous system is we have the nerve cords, no brain and tube and foods are sensory. Respiration is tube feet and skin gills. The respiration is happened by diffusion. Excretion is also from diffusion from the tube feet. Habitat is water, nothing but ocean water. So in this through this the water will be entered and these are the ampullas. We have the tube foot. Stone canal, this we call it a stone canal, and these are the radial canals. Endoskeleton. Internal skeleton are found within the tissues. It is always covered by a thin layer of tissue. Spines and bumps gives a references to their name, which means spiny skin. So coming to the dermal branchiae. So dermal branchiae, soft bumps on the body that absorbs the oxygen from the water. So water vascular system has a water vascular system for movement and structure. So the internal skeleton is nothing but endoskeleton. So here we have the anus, stomach, this is the central disc, digestive glands, this is the ring canal and the radial canals because radial means lateral. So we have the gonads, ampulla, podium and these are the tube feet. So we have the gills as well as the spines. Next. Network of canals which sea water circulates through hydrostatic skeleton, unique to echinoderms. So coming to again, medrophorite, so nothing but sieve plate, water enters through the vascular system, ring canal which surrounds the mouth and leads to radial canals. The radial canals, five of them, one down each arm. The ampulla is nothing but a muscular sac that controls the tube feet by forcing the water in, into it. Next, tube feet creates a suction to ad adhere to substrate for the movement, feeding, excretion, respiration and sensory organ. Next, coming to digestive system. The sea urchins have a longer coiled intestine to allow the time for digestion of plant materials. The sea cucumbers have a similar section to absorb the nutrients from the sediment of its ingest. So, it has a long intestine. Coming to again, we have the sea and brittle stars can avert a portion of the stomach out of these mouth to engulf the food. So, these two enzymes are located in the glands that extend into the arms. And next, regeneration or autonomy. The ability to grow the lost or a damaged body parts. Sometimes, a severed arm can grow into a new organism of one-fifth of the central disc if present. Coming to the nervous system, we have a limited knowledge of this aspect except for the presence of nerve net, OCD, the microscopic pigment spots on the sea stars that can detect the light and darkness. 
So these are the common C stars. This is the top side and this is the bottom side. We have the sharpy bony spines and grasping pincers covering the body. Here the tiny holes finger like gills on the body. Arms on the ray are covered with very tough skin. The body a flat disc at the center. The eye spots at the tip of the each arm. In the bottom side, the mouth with a stomach that is pushed out of the foot. Out of the foot, out of the body to get the foot. Ambulacral grew with two to four of the two feet. The suckers at the tip of the two feet. So we have the cardiac stomach. Here are the gonads. We have the either side on the limbs. This is the anus. We have the pyloric stomach, medriophyte and podia. So we have the retractor muscles and skeletal plates. Coming to the class, Astroidae. So astro means star, including the sea stars or starfishes. Most have the five arms for the central disc and can have up to 50. Each arm carries an equal share of organ systems. So ambulacral, so these are ambulacral grooves, contain the tube feet on the arms. So pelicariae, so tiny pincer like organs on the aboral side keep the surface very clean. So most sea stars are predators of bivalves, snails and other attached or slowly moving animals. Coming to the class, Uphoridae include brittle stars. Uphora means it looks like limbs will look like a snake because of that they named it as Uphoridae. Legs are proportionally long and thinner than the sea stars, allows for the better movement. Organs in the central disc, so the tube feet lack the suckers for the movement. So eat the organic matter and small animals they find on the bottom. Pass it from tube, tube food to tube food till it reaches the mouth. Coming to the class Echinoidae, we include sea urchins and sand dollars. Body structures will form a round rigid body with mobile spine, spins and pedicularae and locomotion is achieved by the mobile spines. So the body plan of sea stars repeated by movement of the arms upward and connecting them at the tips. Mouth is on the bottom, anus is on the top. Spines are very sharp, hollow and sometimes contains the veno. Coming to the plates, we have the 10 plates. So 10 alternating ambercular having opening for the tube feet and interambicular bumps for the spine. And again, the mouth has an integrate system of jaws and muscles, which we call it as Aristotle lanthor. Aristotle Latin, okay, used to bite off the algae and other bits of the foot from the bottom. So, heart urchins and sand dollars are adapted for the soft bottom of the oceans. So, flat bodies and short spines. So, this is the picture of the sand dollars. Top side as well as from the bottom side. Top side we call it as aboral side. Bottom side we call it as oral side. These are the sand dollar. So, the trails are visible on the beach at the lower tide and they flow the furrows in the sand while feeding on the tiny particles of detritus. Food items are carried to their mouth on the underside of their body using thousands of tiny spines moving them the down channels. When they die, their spines will disappear, leaving only the bleached white shell behind. The live specimens produce an antibiotic substance called echinochrome, which stains your fingers yellow. So these are the sea urchins bottom side as well as on the top side bottom side we call it as oral side top side we call it as aboral side and class holothuridae we call it as sea cucumbers similar body plan to a sea urchin just stretch out from the mouth to anus lies on the sides oral and aboral surface are at the ends so these are the sea cucumbers with branched tentacles mouth surrounded by the tentacles we have the tube feet leathery body as well as the anus so these are the sea cucumbers. So thank you very much. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.